and today I'm going to show you how to go from grid method to column method multiplication. If you haven't seen my last videos on grid method, go back and have a look. In our last grid method video, we showed you how to use place value counters to work out 423 multiplied by 4. I have set up the counters as we did for that video. I'm now going to show you how to move from this method to column method. When we first move from grid method to column method, we look at something called expanded method. I'm going to show you how this works. Here I have written 423 and underneath I have written the 4 which I am multiplying by. With grid method, we multiply the hundreds, then the tens and then the ones by 4. This time I'm going to start with the ones. I'm going to work out 3 multiplied by 4, 20 multiplied by 4 and 400 multiplied by 4. If we look at the grid, 3 multiplied by 4 equals 12. If we look at the column method, 3 multiplied by 4 is 12. So I'm going to write 12 in the tens and ones. look at 20 multiplied by 4 it, it equals 80. On the column method we can see we are working out 20 multiplied by 4 so I'm going to write 80 underneath the 12. Finally if we look at 400 multiplied by 4 it equals 1600. On here we can see we are multiplying 400 by 4 so I'm going to write 1600 under the 80. Once we have written down each digit multiplied by 4 we need to add them all together. Here we can see that 2 add 0 add 0 equals 2. Then 1 ten add 8 tens equals 9 tens. After that 6 hundreds add nothing means we have 6 in the hundreds column. And finally, 1,000 add nothing is 1,000, so we can write 1 in the thousands column. This gives us the same answer as our grid method, which is 1,692. With compact method, we do exactly the same as we did with expanded method, but we don't write down every step in full. As before, we start by multiplying the ones. 3 multiplied by 4 equals 12 ones. We need to exchange 10 of the 12 ones for a 10 and put the 10 under the answer box in the, of the 10s column and the 2 in the 1s column. We then need to work out 20 multiplied by 4. We know this is 80 and as we have 1 ten under the ant box, we also need to add that on. So we have 90. I'm going to write 9 in the tens column. Then we need to multiply 400 by 4. This gives us 1,600. So we need to put 1 in the thousands column and 6 in the hundreds column. we have the answer 1692. I hope you found that useful. If you did please like my video and subscribe to my channel. I'll be uploading a video with something new every week. See you all soon. Bye!